all the excitement, it's Floyd Mayweather and Sugar Shane Mosley, New York City. Assalamu alaikum. Well, like I said, uh, for every trainer, this is a great opportunity to be involved in fights of this magnitude. As Oscar said, you watch him over years in history. I've had the privilege to watch both of these young men since they were young athletes coming up. I go back to watching Floyd when he used to mix it up with a kid named Carlos Navarro back when he was a young amateur. Most of y'all probably won't even remember that kid. Augie may not have got that one in the trials, but he, he cleaned it up in the box off. I sat down and watched all those sides. But, but right now we have an opportunity <clears throat> to, be, to make history here. People are going to be split down the middle. Who are you going with? Are you with Mayweather? Are you with, with, with Shane? I think Shane's been at a disadvantage in the fact that he hasn't been in the media's eye in, in some time now. Because, like I said, nobody wanted to fight Margarita. So, like I told Shane, I said, well, if nobody wanted to fight Margarita, what do you think now? After you run through Margarita like that, why would they want to fight you? But here's my situation as far as, as, far as watching Shane and, and watching his athleticism. In my opinion, people kept asking me what was going on when, when, when Pacquiao and Mayweather were talking about fighting. And again, I said, listen, I come from North Philly, and it don't take $4 million to make a fight where I come from. I said, where I come from, I've seen people fight over $4. So, so, so in my opinion, when, when I see two guys, it's like a dance partner. When you go to a party, you ask a young lady to dance, and she says no, you just go to the next young lady. You don't stop and ask her, don't you like Earth, Wind, and Fire? How come you're not dancing? Why won't you? You don't want to dance. Do you want to dance? And, and Shane, good buddy of mine, love him to death, but I've told him this to his face, and I'll say it a million times. His eagerness to fight sometimes hurts his negotiations, because I really believe you can convince Shane to fight Klitschko. He's so eager to fight, he, he, the, the Pacquiao fight, yeah, I'll fight you, yeah, I don't care if your mom's one of the judges, I don't care we'll fight you in the back, yeah, I'll take the test, I'll take another test, I'll take an exception test, I don't care, yeah, I get one hand, you get two, fine. And I say, Shane, listen, <laughs> listen, man, I understand you want to fight these guys, but you're so eager to fight, that a lot of times the fights don't happen. But now here we are, Floyd accepted the challenge, he's an exceptional athlete. You know, to get into the nonsense of your, your hook to my, my defense, to your strength, is ridiculous. You're dealing with two exceptional athletes, and at this level, they're special. And they've proven it, and it's been proven. So when you get people talking nonsense about, what well, this guy can do this, it's your opinion, it's your pick. Some people drive a Cadillac, other people drive a Ford, because it's their choice, it's their opinion, it's their pick. You know, I... I, I I will support anything they say. If Floyd said, he said in one of the interviews, he's the greatest fighter of all time. I have no problem with a man stating that, making that statement if he believes it. And I, I feel like he believes it. But what it does do is it makes it easier for you not to have to ask the question after May 1st, what is Shane Mosley? We won't even have to discuss it. I mean, because Floyd has already set the format for it. This will be a battle for greatness. And I feel like Shane Mosley, is at 47, is at a premier weight class. At 147 pounds, I feel as though Shane Mosley can knock out certain farm animals, let alone a man. Anything that weighs 147 pounds, I feel Shane Mosley can knock it off. I mean, it's just a premier weight for him. Now, I, I don't know, he fought a junior middleweight before, I don't know if that's a weight for him. I don't know about these things. He might be able to beat some middleweights. I know he'll try, that's him. But I believe at 147 pounds is a premier weight for him. And I could see him defeating any man at 147 pounds. But at May 1st, we'll see how he matches up against one of the athletic athletes I've ever seen in amateur boxing and in pro boxing. I watch Floyd. I have nothing negative to say. Uh, and, and if you turn to 24-7 to see that buffoonery of two trainers going back and forth in that nonsense, you can count me out because I don't feed into that. I'm not, a, I'm not into that. These are athletes. I'm going to hold respect for both of them to the final bell. I'm going to support my guy. I'm going to believe in my guy. Uh, just because the camera cuts on, I don't start showing my ass. All right, I'm going to be the man that I am from, from the beginning to the end, and I'm going to do the best I can to get this athlete in the best shape possible. I thank you for your patience and your attention.
Sorry, PETA, nobody's going to knock out any animals, so don't worry about it. With a record of uh, 46 and 5 and 39 knockouts, uh, he's the current WBA welterweight world champion and five-time world champion. During his 16th career, uh, he has compiled world championships, multiple world championships. He's had historical fights. His most recent victory against Antonio Margarito was a classic that broke records at the Staples Center. He's trained by one of the best, or the best, in the world, and Brother Nazim hails from Pomona, California. And he beat the likes of many great champions, including myself, the first time when I was in my prime. Sugar Shane Mosley. Thank you, Oscar. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been a long time, you know, since, uh, since I got a chance to, uh, you know, to, to get a chance to, to show the world that I'm the best fighter. And that's all I really want. You know, it's to be the best and to have, you know, people understand that, you know, it's not just, you know, one great fighter here, and, you know, and another great fighter in Manny Pacquiao. It's another one. It's, you know, it's Sugar Shane Mosley. You know, I just, I just want to say, I'm, you know, I'm going to take my hat off to, to Mayweather because, you know, for a minute I thought that I wasn't going to ever get a, get a fight from any of these top fighters. And everybody was like a, there's a afraid to get in the ring with me. But Mayweather, you know, he took, he took the time. He, he said, uh, yeah, I'll take that challenge. I'll fight you. So it happened. That's the misconception. The ducking of Floyd and all that stuff, that's a misconception that people... Uh, to have to say. <laughs> Misconception. So, I would like to say that, uh, you know, it's going down May 1st. It's going to be me and Money Mayweather. And, you know, May 1st, it, it symbolized something. May, May 1st symbolized something. Hopefully, it Hopefully it won't. The tooth probably won't hurt. It's probably going to feel good. I probably can go to the doctor and pay for it after I finish the fight. But, <laughs> but, it may first symbolize something, you know? After, after this fight, you know, there won't, there won't be no, oh, it's, you know, it's the clear, or it's this, it's that. It's going to be clear. It's going to be clear. <laughs> It's gonna be clear of that ass whooping that I'm about to give to him. May 1st, it symbolizes May 1st loss. Thank you.